what's up guys and welcome to the aries ashley show it's me your girl aries ashley here and today we're going to be talking about lots of great things i'm going to just jump right in okay so first i want to start with the cleaning update y'all know i have been organizing for a while i did get everything where i wanted it but i for the most part but i didn't get everything sorted the way I wanted it. So um, I put some pictures right here of what I did. Now I just have to sort everything by like scent and season and pull out the things that I want to donate. And I'm going to figure out exactly where I would like to donate that product. Um, but yeah, your girl has got to purge some of this stuff. It's too much. I borrowed Hubby's Tanjiro because mine isn't here yet. I really, really like Demon Slayer, you guys. And I also really love Alice in Wonderland. And you see what I did? I put the Wisteria. If, if you know Demon Slayer, you know why. So I have a Wisteria candle from Kringle Candle. And it smells really good. Um... I don't think, yeah, Kringle doesn't have the scent notes on the bottom of theirs, but this is from that Zen collection, and it smells awesome. I haven't burned it yet. I, I like, legit only got it because of the Demon Slayer. <laughs> friend mail! Okay, so for today's friend mail topic, what I would like to know from you all because i think this would be so much fun what i want to know is what other youtubers would you like to see receive friend mail from me like it could be in the candle community it could be somebody else just whatever just comment below who would you like to see get some friend mail like i think that would be so much fun you guys Tell me what you think, and if you think it's going to be a fun idea and you have somebody in mind, please comment below. Let's go over to Mindful Moments. Today, we're going to be talking about a check-in. So, we have discussed from the beginning of January up until now, we talked about accountability and how I'm the only person that can change my actions. We talked about the two things to stop and start doing. Um... I told you guys initially about losing my dad in November of last year and so my grieving I just really wanted to check in and kind of check up with you guys and let y'all know exactly where I'm standing with my mental health and mindful moments and then we're gonna just keep doing this you guys we're just gonna keep taking this time to address self okay how I'm grieving right now I'm not as sad as I was expecting to be. I'm more confused and angry. Like you guys, and when I say angry, I'll be driving down the road and then all I can think about is a punching bag and how much work I would put in on that punching bag. And it's like, okay, so I don't know the stages of grief. I guess this is a part of it, but I really dislike the confusion. I don't like the feeling of why is this this way? and like just wanting my dad to answer things and he's not here to answer them for me. And then like work, ugh, I don't even wanna talk about work, but because I brought it up that, I mean, he, he was in there like in and out all the time and now I'm there and he's not. And it's just like, I don't, I don't even think I wanna be there anymore. But that's a topic for another day. We're just, I just wanna kinda of catch you guys up where I've been with grieving. As far as accountability, I think I have definitely been being accountable to myself for some of the stuff that I'm doing. Like, I see it. I don't want to say I'm nitpicking, but I'm definitely picking it up. I, I see where I'm flawed and I'm doing everything I can to work on it. But then I have to give myself some grace and accept and in doing this accountability comes the acceptance that you're human and you're not gonna be perfect and you have to take it one day at a time just like everybody else. So that's where I am with the accountability factor. Yes, I am accountable for my actions, but at the same time, you gotta throw some grace in there because you're just a human. I am the only person that can change my actions and accepting that I am the only person that can 
change my actions means you got to get up and do it like that whole I don't feel like it thing you need to you need to break up with I don't feel like it because you're not going to get anything done that way like real talk I struggled to make this video tonight and I told hubby and he was like go make your video you better go make your YouTube video and I was like yeah I'm going to I'm gonna go do it because I want that consistency and I want to show up. I want to be here. I want to be the best version of me that I can be, which means I have to show up even when I don't feel like it. And so, I mean, if I was like really sick, you guys, that's, that's different. But I wasn't sick. I was just in a funk because I had one of those days. <laughs> okay, uh, funny story. So my mom made some really good soup. And I was like, ooh, she's like, you can take some. So she goes to <laughs> fix it for me. And she didn't have to. She was putting an aluminum foil on it. I was like, no, mom, I got it. Let me do it. Y'all, I dropped the aluminum foil and the whole thing unrolled all over the floor. And I was just like, it's one of those days. This is like my sixth take of this video. <laughs> I, the struggle, the struggle was real on today. And I think that those days happen sometimes just to keep you humble, just to let you know like, hey, life isn't perfect. You're not perfect. Things are going to happen. So just kind of have some peace about where you are and just keep trying keep trying to be better two things to stop and start doing uh that was my last week's video was to stop complaining stop overthinking start stretching and start walking so stop complaining i catch myself now so i'll start complaining and i'll be like is this complaining and then i'll stop talking and i like that that's cool that's cool because it's like okay it's progress you see you see the problem and you're doing something about it and i feel like that that right there is the priceless that's the priceless piece because if i catch myself complaining i continue to complain and that doesn't help anything but to catch myself complaining and then to stop it's like oh yeah okay so now all you gotta do is catch yourself before you start so you don't do it like i'm so happy about that i feel like that's a little bit of progress overthinking so i learned a nasty little lesson with overthinking you guys it sucks up my time when i start overthinking it's a distraction like overthinking becomes a distraction and then i'll end up late i'll um i'll end up doing something that i wasn't even supposed to be doing in the first place um it, it yeah so yeah i'm learning that overthinking is really not a good thing for me because it's actually affecting how i show up in my life so uh i try to do the same thing about the complaining when i catch myself doing it i'll cut it off but that's a little more difficult than complaining because complaining you're running your mouth you know and then you're just like ooh. You should stop talking but when you're overthinking you're not saying anything your mind is just rolling and it's like oh no what time is it <laughs> so i don't i don't want to i don't want to do that and i feel like i'm making more progress with not complaining than overthinking but overthinking is teaching me that it's a time suck so i'm trying to chill out with that now two things to start doing stretching y'all i did stretch i've been stretching more than i've been walking so since Tuesday, I want to say there was like three times that I stopped and just mindfully took some time to stretch. And oh my gosh, when I tell you guys, I needed that so bad. Like my body was like, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, what is she doing? That is a sign like you really should be taking better care of yourself if stretching does you like that so yes i did start the stretching now i just got to create like that that sense of consistency and walking no no it's cold <laughs> i'm sorry you guys it's so cold i don't care for the cold weather i'm glad that it doesn't snow in south carolina because I'm not here for it. No, it's pretty. I love the pictures, you know, but y'all can keep it. Y'all can keep all that snow. My goals. So that pretty much sums up where I currently am. Now to move forward, my goal is to stretch every morning. After realizing the place that my body is in from stretching those few times last week, it's something I need to do 
every morning for at least 15 to 20 minutes at the bare minimum, okay? So that's my goal. My goal is to stretch every morning for a bare minimum of 15 to 20 minutes. My other goal is to walk twice a week. It's cold and I don't know how I'm going to get around it being cold, but I, I need to do it. I need to, I need to just do it. You know what I'm saying? I need to go and I need to walk. I don't want to go to the gym. I live too far away from anything to go to a gym. I mean, I could, but it's just whatever, whatever. If it's only twice a week, then it might not be so bad. I might be able to work that with my work schedule to where like I get off work and then go to the gym to walk. Hey, that's not a bad idea. See, where there's a will, there's a way. That's it. That's it for the mindful moments for this week that wraps it up. Next week, we're going to be talking about something juicy. All right, so let's get on to this haul because it's huge. Okay, so it's haul time, you guys. First and foremost, look what came in the mail today. Coupons! Oh my goodness. It is a free wallflower fragrance refill and a 20% off your purchase and they are flaunting that beautiful gingham love perfume that I really would like to get my hands on oh my gosh I want it so bad I just excuse me you guys just hiccups out of nowhere um I'm totally excited about that can't wait can't wait can't wait um some oh yeah so how how I ended up in the store today let's let's go there first I had some swaps and then um when i got in the store this is what i saw and i was like oh wow these are a lot of hand soaps for 75 percent off whatever will i do <laughs> y'all already know what i did so um yeah and then i redeemed some rewards and then i still went over budget <laughs> can't explain it and then and then a box came in the mail so yeah I'm not burning anything per se right now uh we'll we'll get to that later we'll, we'll get to what I am burning in a little bit but yeah so clear horizon this is the beard and face wash you guys this scent is fresh lavender zesty citrus and pacific cedar wood this smells so good that scent is amazing it's amazing then they had this nice black bag i was like oh my gosh this is so giftable like it's so very nice i want it so i got that um what else did i grab okay so i they had six dollar they had some six dollar candles on the 75 percent off rack so pumpkin spice latte and pumpkin donut shop. Look at this. Look at this cute little heart pocket bag holder. Oh, it was just adorable. I was like, you're coming with me. Let's grab this other bag if I can reach it from here. I can. You guys, this bag, I love these little bags. I think I paid like 80 cent, like 85 cent for this thing. Yeah, it's originally 350. So whatever 75 off of that is, is what I paid for it. Side note, so my mom is doing a deep clean and she found some perfume and she gave it to me, you guys. Look at this. It's Dior Fahrenheit. Um, This smells good. So I, I don't know. Is this, you guys, this uh, bottle looks a little masculine to me. Is this a cologne or a perfume? Like, I'm, that's an embarrassing question. I'm so sorry. I can just Google that myself. <laughs> but yes so she found all these perfumes and she gave me one and that smells so good so I was like yes please and thank you this was 50 cent and I like these little um hats for example the fox y'all know the fox three wick candle holder you could put one of these on his ear and he just went from fall to Christmas just like that boom that's why I like those things because I don't have to take down certain pieces if I don't want to if I want to put a Christmas hat on them then they can celebrate with the rest of us I had to go calm down I don't know why I got so animated <laughs> so dramatic you guys I picked up a confetti daydream I did some swaps I don't know why I got these candles I got this one because I don't have it 
in this packaging and that packaging is so pretty so that's why i got this one but confetti daydream is probably in this box that i have down here i was just tired of waiting on the box and i really wanted to burn it so my plan was to come home and burn this but then <laughs> But then the box came, so I don't even know. I don't even know what's in the box. All right, we'll 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 get to that after we finish this. You guys, look at all these soaps. Look at this. This is fresh winter air. I'm not going to read the notes on them only because um, I have a lot of stuff and we got more stuff to talk about. So bergamot and lavender. I don't remember grabbing that one and I wanted it and it was $1.88, so I picked it up market peach you can't go wrong with market peach especially not for that price point same with white waves really like this one and the packaging is like boss so yes please um sparkling tea and bergamot i love this scent you guys this smells so good to me like this is a hoard worthy fragrance in my opinion and i think they this was the last one um, maybe not and like when I say maybe not I'm tempted to go back and look and just get all of them and I got a vanilla blush hand soap y'all I have a a big bag with three little bags in it I'm trying to carefully grab everything so this is why I went over budget I went over budget because the snowman was $12 and he's a three wick holder and I was not yeah i was not leaving this there for 12 dollars, so i took it with me via going over budget by that 12 dollars. so what else i got y'all are going on and on about this fireside flurries i i don't know it's toasted marshmallow pink lavender and cashmere woods i don't know what is wrong with him he you know what i'm his mother that's what's wrong with him He's a drama king. I'm a drama queen. It is what it is. It is what it is. This does smell good. Okay. Maybe I maybe I shouldn't have skipped this one. I skipped this one over Christmas and now I slightly have regrets. So uh oh well, it is what it is. That shower gel smells really good. So I forgot to buy this one, the first snow, and I actually thought I don't know why I thought this. But I thought this one was this one. And then when I saw this one, I was like, oh no, what? so what did I buy? And I was like, I bought fresh winter air and I wanted first snow. Well, <laughs> I got back in the line to buy the soap and the lady in front of me was just like, nah. And she bought it for me. <laughs> it was $1.88. So, I mean, I was like, wow, thank you. That's so awesome. So I like that. I like to pass it on too, you know, I think that was cool. I had some swaps, you guys. So I swapped out, um, it was a broken, do I have it up here, that fragrance? I think I do have the fragrance up here. It was this fragrance right here. It was cedarwood and vanilla. It was that, but it was the lotion and it broke and there was no more. So I got the sleep. Oh, I can, yeah. So I got the black chamomile sleep in this new packaging. I love this jar. It is so pretty. This is so pretty. I love it. And then I got strawberry pound cake in the faceted collection. I swapped for it. You guys, I probably have like almost every strawberry pound cake fine fragrance mist. Um, I got the sunshine mimosa. And I had a swap also for a wallflower refill it the top of it the wick like did that thing where they the wicks explode and i was like yeah nah so i swapped that out for a smoked vanilla and then and then i got some of the um these concentrated room sprays two for 12 is not the best deal but you know it's better than the three for 22 so okay um i got a pink watermelon i got a raspberries and whipped vanilla i got a vanilla and peach tea and i got a iced coconut milk come on iced coconut milk almost yeah all right so let me get this box 
let's do uh these hand soaps that are in here first so i got a white t-shirt i got a sweet sugar sprinkles feeling loved is what that one is and i have a a glacier lagoon and i have a terracotta canyon all right let me try to get these candles out hey guys i got the candles out it's six candles um let's see what we have this one is the prosecco and peaches I'll put that there prosecco and peaches whoa mm. Mm, that smells good i think the wax might be loose in this yeah it is got a little bit of loose wax but I don't, that's that's fine it should be okay um the next one is pink prosecco frosting this is one of those glass lid ones it is mm, okay so i've had a customer say that this smells like Laffy Taffy. And then I had another customer say that this smells like lemonade. I'm leaning more towards the Laffy Taffy. I, I get that. I get that. Dark chocolate truffles. This is the one that I really want to burn. I think this is what I'm going to light up in here tonight. I really wanted to burn this because um, I don't know how I feel. Everybody's saying it's amazing, but I don't know how I feel. And I need to know. So that is the positively sweet dark chocolate truffles. Yes. And I need to burn this. So in fact, it's going right there because it's getting burned tonight. The next one we have here is springtime in Paris. Oh no, maybe I said too soon. I really also want to burn this one. <laughs> Y'all, these are cold and like the waxes jiggly this smells so good the next one that i have is pineapple passion fruit i saw a review on this one and i was intrigued so i wanted to get it and it smells really good mm -hmm. i typically uh sometimes don't like scents like this but that smells pretty darn good there so that's exciting and then the last one that I have is Confetti Daydream again. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And see, that one came fine. No issues there. What's up with that, y'all? It's okay. So that is it for my haul. Let's keep it going. All right, so let's do this product chat, you guys, first. And I typically don't do this. So we got to talk about this toasted coconut eclair. You guys, uh, I know these are expensive, but if you can get your hands on one either at a sale or um, for a swap or something, this candle is amazing. And I didn't want, you know, the quickie to be delayed and you guys don't have my thoughts on this scent before a sale or something like that and yeah um this one it's awesome it's so good it's really really good and i highly recommend it so that's what i'm gonna say about that i don't want to spoil the quickie but i also don't want to not have the quickie done and then you guys you know just are kind of curious of my thoughts on that one it's good get it the new collection okay you guys um i have a smell this collection at work like just back to back to back to back to back and so um i want to talk about the fragrances and i want to kind of let you guys know as far as my research was concerned what was the number one fragrance from most customers like every time i was like okay let's smell all four the number one most picked fragrance from this lineup okay so I'm going to start with the one that was actually everyone's least favorite. Very few customers enjoyed this scent and it was the Pear Creme Brulee. That's right, you guys. The Pear Creme Brulee was the one that most people were kind of just like, eh. I like this one. 
<sighs> Did I speak too soon? It's baked pear, caramelized sugar, and whipped cream. No, I just went up my nose uncomfortably. I think that the whipped cream and caramelized sugar and the fact that the pear is baked save the day. It's, I like it. I don't dislike this one, but I do see why it's the, the least favorite of the bunch. Okay, so the next one, and we're not including coconut cream pie because it's an online exclusive. My, my coconut cream pie actually isn't in yet and I still have um this one from last year last year's packaging um I don't know if you guys remember but this was like the one I was most upset with because caramel overtook the coconut and then I grew to love it at first I it went from hate to love with this scent and I am very glad that they brought it back this one smells really good, especially if you like um, caramel scents, but we're not including that one only because that one is an online exclusive. So the next scent after, so yeah, I'm going from like least to the greatest. The next one was the whipped berry meringue. So this is the one that everybody was like, it smells good, but it's not my favorite. It does smell good and I actually really do like this one and I'm glad that I picked it up in this packaging. I do think it smells very similar to um, Boardwalk Taffy and uh, Cotton Candy Clouds, but it's okay. I mean, I really like the purple, so I don't, I don't mind having it again, especially at the $6.50 price point that I paid for it. Peach Prosecco Macaron was the number two, which leaves bubbly rosé to be the number one fragrance but the peach prosecco macaron was the second favorite and that is peach prosecco vanilla cream macaron cookie um the peach is really strong here and i like that though i think it smells really good the peach here actually reminds me of the same peach that is in um what was it called, you guys? The peach tea from SAS, from Summer SAS. That's what this peach reminds me of. As far as comparing it to Winter Peach Marshmallow, I think that Winter Peach Marshmallow is sweeter from the marshmallow note. Where this one, the Prosecco, like, makes it really bubbly. And the macaron cookie is very, very, very faint here. Whereas in Winter Peach Marshmallow, you get like that creaminess and that smoothness and you get the peach, but it's like peaches and cream sort of scent where this one is like peaches and wine or peaches and champagne sort of scent. Um, I do wish they would have toned up the macaron cookie just a little bit, a little bit, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm not mad at it. I think it's a good fragrance overall. And then number one is Bubbly Rosé, you guys. Everybody really, really, really likes this bubbly rosé scent. Pink sparkling rosé, sweet blood orange, splash of cranberry. So let's talk about it for a second. Um, a co-worker of mine, hey, hey girl, hey, um, Kai, I keep messing her name up, Kaya. We decided that bubbly rosé is the perfected champagne toast. It is because I feel like they were just messing with champagne toast. They tried sunshine mimosa, almost. They got champagne toast. It's like, okay. But then the bubbly rosé is like, that's it. That's it. You did it. You did it. The secret formula has worked. And you, you, you got it right. And I think that's what this smells like. It's so very good. It's pretty. It's not like offensive. It's not too much rose. It's not too much berries. Uh, the orange isn't overpowering the fragrance. And it's everybody's. On my side of town, it's everyone's favorite. Everyone is really, really, really feeling the bubbly rosé. Okay, you guys. So that is it for that. Now, we got to talk about Goose Creek's um, Pink Petal Icing Candle. So, you guys. I have never smelled nor owned pink petal tea cake from Bath and Body Works. I have only had this candle, this rose petal icing from Goose Creek. This candle has given me a run for my money. I've burned it in the bedroom. 
I've burned it in that uh, in the living room. I've burned it on the patio. I burned it at work. I am currently burning it right now on the patio again. You guys, this thing throws at okay, so at work, it filled the 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 office space. And the scent was so pretty. It was the most gorgeous fragrance, but it was so light. It was light, but I was kind of glad that it was light because, you know, I was at work. Like, I didn't want it to be offensive. They liked it. I burned it on the porch. The porch smells amazing. Not the whole porch, but half of the porch smells awesome. It smells so good, but it's so light and faint. I felt like... I would walk onto the porch and then I would smell this beautiful scent and then I would walk to the door from like, okay, so the way my porch is set up, it's like the screen door, you walk in there and then you walk to the door to my house. Well, on the way in, it's like, where to go? <laughs> it's like I walked past the fragrance and by the time I got to the door, I didn't smell anything. I just don't understand. I wondered if it was a draft issue. Okay. I could buy that if you didn't move the candle from place to place like that. So, and I always burn my candles in the same spot so I don't have any drafting issues. Y'all, I don't know what to make of this, of this candle. I love the fragrance, but the performance is just wonky at best. At best, it's a wonky performance. The scent is so good. The scent is so good, but it's not strong and it doesn't perform the way I wanted to so I kept saying I was going to revisit the quickie I don't think I'm going to again I think I'm going to leave that quickie where it is because it's still true I yeah I moved it around I burned it in different places the fragrance is gorgeous it's gorgeous you hear me it's beautiful but it's so light it's so light and every time I burn it it's like a, a different story um, matter of fact, let's go get some live footage right now. So this time, you guys, I've been burning for like two and a half hours. Check it out. <laughs> the train's coming. It isn't even pulled. It's not even pulled out yet. And then the wax turned all black on me. I've been trimming my wicks. I really just, I don't know. I don't know what the scent. It's so pretty. The scent is so pretty, but the candle is just giving me hardship, you guys. So... There's that. Back to the show. Giveaway! That's right. I hope you guys didn't forget about this awesome giveaway. So if you don't remember from last week, this is what was inside the giveaway. It is a Burt's Bees Refreshing Face Mask. It was this tote, this pop tote from Bath & Body Works. It was a thousand wishes for you body cream the plant desk holder and then it was the confetti daydream three wick candle the winner to the giveaway is kathy moore congratulations kathy moore you are the winner kathy's favorite product is actually a new scent it is the hope winter peach marshmallow so she says she stocked up i don't blame you girl i got two of those fine fragrance mists and i did stock up on the three wick candles as well because that scent is beautiful it was certainly my favorite scent from the um love joy hope and peace collection hope was boss congratulations to you and thank you so much for being yourself all you have to do is inbox me on instagram at aries ashley for your mailing address or you can email me at ashley at p31 positive okay is that it i think that's it you guys yes that's all i have for you all right until next week i will see you guys later toodles